But I do what I can, inch by inch, step by step, mile by mile. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 hardest Broadway choreographies and dance routines. For this list, we'll be looking at the most physically complex or demanding Broadway musical numbers. In an attempt to rein in our choices, we're limiting ourselves to one routine per musical. Have you ever tried to master one of these dances? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. The River of Dreams, Keeping the Faith, Only the Good Die Young, Moving Out. This show is about as dance-heavy as any you'll find on Broadway. In fact, it's not so much a musical as a concert that's been conceptualized and choreographed by modern dance legend Twyla Tharp. What do I look for in dances? I look for intelligence, I look for a real connection, that they have to be really connected to their own bodies. The production, based on the music of Billy Joel, stars one singer who essentially impersonates Joel while accompanying himself on the piano. All the other cast members are dancers, who tell the fictional story through movement. Say goodbye to the oldies, but goodies. You know the good old days weren't always good. Tomorrow ain't as bad as it seems. This medley is packed with difficult, physically demanding, and relentless steps. The dancers jump, leap, stretch, and lift each other for the better part of the thrilling number. And they make it all look effortless. <laughs> number 19. River Dance. River Dance. You may be wondering why this international blockbuster is on our list. Well, it technically played on Broadway at Radio City Music Hall in 1996 and at the Gershwin Theater for over a year from 2000 to 2001. The show started as Interval Entertainment during 1994's Eurovision Song Contest in Ireland. But it quickly became a worldwide phenomenon and recently celebrated its 25th anniversary. <laughs> the title song features Irish step dancing, an extremely stylized form of traditional dance that demands precision, strength, and years of study. The Irish jig guy? His legs flail about as if independent from his body. Combining graceful movements with strong percussive steps, the method requires unison and crystal clear execution. It's athletic, energetic, sharp, and endlessly exciting. <laughs> Number 18, Pas de Deux, An American in Paris. The classic 1951 film starring Jean Kelly and Leslie Caron was finally turned into a Broadway show in 2014. Starring ballet dancers Robert Fairchild and Leanne Cope, it was choreographed by the New York City Ballet's Christopher Wheeldon. The dancing in this moment is beautiful, George Gershwin's score is timeless, and the professionals hide just how complicated the moves are. Cope and Fairchild's partner work is exquisite, as they effortlessly execute difficult lifts. Plus, the duo is about more than just fancy tricks. They show excellent technique, dance with strong and graceful conviction, and utilize musicality and emotion. Did we mention Cope is en point for much of the number?
Number 17. Brotherhood of Man. How to succeed in business without really trying. Now you may join the Elks, my friend, and I may join the Shriners, and other men may carry cards as members of the Diners. This 50th anniversary revival of the classic 1961 Frank Lesser musical featured the one and only Daniel Radcliffe. The Indeed, Harry Potter himself played J. Pierpont Finch, an ambitious man trying to climb the corporate ladder. That includes assembling his co-workers, allies, and opponents alike into a big group number celebrating the brotherhood of man and one woman. No kidding! It's the really a this number, choreographed by Rob Ashford in the revival, is inventive and energetic, featuring lots of acrobatic ballet and jazz. Starting slowly and building up to its exciting conclusion, the performers shake hands and legs and crawl on their knees while singing. The tight formations, with members entwined and moving together, is much more complicated than it appears. <laughs> Number 16, You Can't Stop the Beat, Hairspray. You can't stop in avalanches or braces down the hill. You can try to stop the seasons, girl, but you know you never will. This exciting group number closes out the show on such a high note that it makes us want to sing and dance too. Adapted from the 1988 cult film of the same name by John Waters, Hairspray tells a story of individualism, inclusion, and acceptance. The rousing closing number takes place on a 1962 American bandstand-like television program. It's complete with retro fads and fashions, but doesn't look too hard on the surface. The movements are mostly pantomimic, but there are lots of little pieces to memorize. What makes this number deceivingly difficult is that it's non-stop. The choreography is fast, vigorous, and lengthy. Of course, the cast is also singing for much of the number. We're exhausted just watching this routine. Number 15, Audition, 42nd Street. This definitive musical tells the story of a small-town girl in a big city chorus who gets her big break after the lead suffers an injury. The exciting show opens on a huge cattle call audition, with numerous dancers learning a classic Broadway tap routine in close synchronization. Granted, it's not the only challenging routine in 42nd Street. The title number features dancers on a large staircase, and We're in the Money has tappers on coin-shaped pedestals. But Audition starts with the curtains raised just enough to see the dancers' feet, emphasizing their specific movements, crystal clear sounds, and the unison of their taps. As the number increases in speed, it sets the stage for the exciting showcase that follows. Number 14, Steam Heat, The Pajama Game. <laughs> this early classic comes from the mind of the great Bob Fosse while he was developing his style. He thought up this number's routine for the 1954 musical about union workers in a pajama factory. Steam. 
His first production as a choreographer, this trio shows glimpses of the look Fosse later became famous for. There are small, specific movements in perfect unison, intern knees, minimized isolations, and spread out fingers. As a bonus, the bowler hats are also flawlessly incorporated into the routine. The dancers execute steps big and small, crawling, sliding, and jumping around. It's no wonder this was a star-making turn for Carol Haney. The gold. Number 13, Manson Trio, Pippin. Let's not forget that all-time favorite, World War II. Between 35 and 60 million killed over. Get ready for another epic trio from famed choreographer Bob Fosse. Fluid, hips smaller, keep the head front. Now, again. This time, his iconic style appears to be fully formed. It's much more risque, trading in suits for spandex and high-cut leotards. The emphasis is on angular, exact movements, like tiny hip circles and thrusts, small sideways shuffling steps, and wide fingers turning to limp wrists. With the inimitable Ben Vereen dressed all in black, this routine from the song Glory is deceptively difficult because the movements are so precise. Fosse's fascination with famed cult leader Charles Manson reportedly led to the number's name and is reflected in the leading player's persona. And though the show was reimagined for the revival, they kept the Manson trio largely as Fosse had choreographed it. Our worlds of circus and Fosse absolutely meld together. Any kind of gesturing to like a ta-da to another performer, that's all Fosseisms, but that's also part of the circus world as well. Number 12, Taxi. Bring in the noise, bring in the funk. Photographer Savion Glover brought hip-hop and funk, combined with hard-hitting rhythmic tap, to Broadway. So through noise funk, I feel that not only did it make tap dancers uh, uh, feel empowered, but a generation, uh, a generation as a people, a body as a people. This type of tapping uses every part of the shoe in a slapping, hitting, toe-standing style that's fierce and low to the ground. Glover first dipped his toes in the Broadway pool by participating in classic tap shows. These included The Tap Dance Kid and Black and Blue, whose That Rhythm Man was another contender for this list. With Taxi, he put together a dynamic, fast-paced, and stylized number that entertains, while also providing important social commentary. <laughs> Number 11, Uninvited, Jagged Little Pill. Like anyone would be, I am disturbed by my fascination with you. This devastating number in this Alanis Morissette musical painfully illustrates the all-is-lost moment of the play. Choreographer Sidi Larbi Sharkawi's routine exemplifies how dance can be used to tell a story. Addiction is such a difficult, tragic, and delicate subject to talk about. We often are at a loss of words to describe it. And often we could, through movement and through the body, find ways to speak about the unspeakable. In this case, it's that of a woman in the throes of addiction. <laughs>
it's reminiscent of the unforgettable Mia Michaels choreography on So You Think You Can Dance. Uninvited is an unconventional pas de deux that's physically demanding and emotionally raw for both the character singing and her dance doppelganger. The latter acts as a sort of ragdoll, moving with vulnerability. The routine powerfully personifies the struggle at the heart of the story. To deliver it. Number 10. Anything Goes, Anything Goes. In the olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking, but now This 1934 musical is a favorite on Broadway and among school productions. It's easy to see why when you consider its eccentric story of romance aboard an ocean liner and the fun and memorable Cole Porter score. The production is full of hits, including Blow Gabriel Blow, another number full of complex moves. But it's the title song's choreography that blows us away. <laughs> The 2011 revival featured an exciting show-style tap routine from the mind of Kathleen Marshall. It was executed perfectly by Sutton Foster, with timeless time steps and inventive formations that travel across the whole stage. The number is lengthy, demanding energy, stamina, precision, and crisp, clean sounds. Number 9, I Hope I Get It, a chorus line. Again, step, 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 lead, step, stop, right, back on X, wait, turn, turn, out, in, jump, step, step, check, check, leap, check, stop. Choosing only one routine from this seminal Michael Bennett musical is nearly impossible, as there are many extremely difficult numbers in the show. There's the deceptively complex one, which demands uniform movements in close proximity or the solo showcase The Music and the Mirror, with its repeated turns and layouts across the line. But we had to go with the iconic and technically demanding opening number. Okay, this is the whole combination facing away from the mirror. From the top, a five, six, seven, eight! It's the audition that puts all the Broadway hopefuls through their paces, setting the story in motion. With its relentless pace and exacting precision, it requires huge flexibility, extraordinary technique, boundless energy, and endless stamina. Paired with the singing and acting, this is nearly as good as it gets. Number 8. Jellicle Songs for Jellicle Cats – Cats Are you blind when you're born? Can you see in the dark? Can you look at a king? Would you sit on his throne? Cats may be widely ridiculed now, but it was groundbreaking at the time. Andrew Lloyd Webber's massive musical based on the feline poetry of T.S. Eliot had dancers crawling around costumed and acting like ballerina cats. like nothing seen on stage before, and people could not get enough of it. Jillian Lynn's choreography for Jellicle Songs for Jellicle Cats involves lots of stalking and prancing, with the ribs and back contracting and releasing. As I said, a lot of the storytelling, the majority of the storytelling is inherent in the choreography. It requires excellent technique, balance, grace, and flexibility. Jellicle Cats, Jellicle Songs for Jellicle Cats, We see these skills at play through the big kicks and leaps, partnering work, tumbling, and flipping. And the cast did all of this while singing, requiring tremendous breath support. What's more, this opening number also kicks off a fully formed dance show. What's 
Number seven, seize the day, Newsies. <laughs> Adapted and expanded for Broadway in 2012, this star vehicle for Jeremy Jordan saw new life on the stage after the 1992 film's initial flop. The flashy king of New York gave this routine a run for its money, with its detailed tapping and jumping on furniture. But ultimately, we had to choose the show-stopping seize the day. Like Kenny Ortega's original choreography, Christopher Gatelli puts his dancers through the ringer. In our show, much of the story is told and expressed through dance. There's extremely energetic movements, leaps, jumps, tricks, flips, and people practically flying across the stage. Adding a bit more danger, they then dance on sheets of newspaper. Needless to say, this number demands perfect balance, coordination, precision, and timing. Number six. Satisfied, Hamilton. We'd be totally remiss if we left this worldwide phenomenon off our list. After all, Andy Blankenbuehler's choreography is the epitome of excitement combining lots of different dance styles like jazz, musical theater, hip hop, and ballet, it was difficult to choose the hardest routine. I wanna take them far away from this place, then I turn and see my sister's face, and she is. Yorktown The World Turned Upside Down made a big impression with its relentless pace, hip-hop moves in quick succession, and slides across the floor, we chose Satisfied. Its clever staging takes the same motions from A Winter's Ball and Helpless to make us feel like we're moving back in time. With the added difficulty of the spinning turntable, this number uses movement to tell a poignant story. He will never be satisfied, I will never be satisfied. Number five, cool, West Side Story. I wanna get even, get cool. I wanna bust, bust cool. I wanna go, go cool. Boy, boy, crazy boy. Get cool, boy. This Jerome Robbins blockbuster is full of so many outstanding, complicated routines that it's almost impossible to choose just one. The dance at the gym's energetic moves to a Latin rhythm and the prologue's iconic leaps both had us mesmerized. But at the end of the day, nothing beats Cool's elaborate and iconic movements. This athletic and vigorous dance combines exquisite ballet technique with pedestrian street movements and is set against an emotional backdrop. By playing with levels and formations, Robbins juxtaposes moments of stillness with bursts of adrenaline, mirroring the gang's intense feelings. Pow! Number four, Too Darn Hot, Kiss Me Kate. It's too darn hot. It's too darn hot. I'd like to stop. For my baby tonight. This classic musical was composed by the great Cole Porter. The original 1948 production starred Alfred Drake and Patricia Morrison in the play within a play retelling of Shakespeare's The Taming of the Shrew. The Roundabout Theater's limited engagement 2019 revival starred Kelly O'Hara, Will Chase, and High School Musical's Corbin Blue. <laughs> Warren Carlyle provided the exciting choreography, and he didn't disappoint. Now look, here comes a challenge. So I think a nice reference to the Nicholas Brothers. 
Something that you can't see now every in this day and age. Too Darn Hot features big acrobatic jazz and ballet tricks, lightning fast tapping, sliding, jumping, and classic swing dance steps. It's a dynamic, super memorable, and technically intricate number that we cannot get enough of. Number 3. Bottle Dance – Fiddler on the Roof This is arguably one of the most iconic dances in musical theater history. Though he was inspired by men's dancing at Orthodox Jewish festivals and weddings, this show-stopping number came from Jerome Robbins' imagination, and it's incredibly difficult to master. Much of the routine involves crawling on your knees in a truncated chorus line while intertwined with other dancers and sliding across the floor. As if that wasn't complicated enough on its own, you also have to balance a glass bottle on your hat. Taking place during the wedding celebration that closes Act 1, the bottle dance's breathtaking choreography is further brought to life by Jerry Bach's exhilarating music. <laughs> Number 2. Shaking the Blues Away – Holiday Inn There's an old superstition way down south Everybody believes that trouble won't stay if you shake it away. The coordination and timing required for this amazing Dennis Jones routine is mind-boggling. I just wanted to give the audience a kind of a series of ideas that feel like they are happening spontaneously when the Christmas garland kind of unspools and it's sort of happening mistakenly. As if tap wasn't already intricate enough, these dancers have to do it while jumping rope. Unlike Legally Blonde's cardio heavy whipped into shape, this routine's moves are quite precise. More than that, they require impeccable timing and synchronization to match the turning of the ropes with the landings. The dancers also leap incredibly high before each tap step, bringing their knees up before reaching the ground in perfect rhythm. This only begins to cover how involved the show-stopping routine is, yet we never see the company sweat. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Electricity – Billy Elliot the Musical a relentless ballet solo for a young dancer and tumbler. Can 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 The show that made Gwen Verdon a star through its exhausting kicks and splits. <laughs> Nobody, Bandstand, an underrated musical about PTSD that blends ballet and jazz in this uplifting number. Crapshooter's Ballet, Luck Be a Lady, Guys and Dolls. Choreographer Michael Kidd is known for energetic, acrobatic routines, and this is no exception. <laughs> Step in Time – Mary Poppins – a technically complex routine with a little stage magic thrown in. Before 
we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Turkey Lurkey Time – Promises Promises It's Turkey Lurkey Time From Turkey ran away but he just came home It's Turkey Lurkey Time He's really home to stay Never want to roam Michael Bennett choreographed this Burt Bacharach musical based on the Billy Wilder film The Apartment. Turkey Lurkey Time, featuring Donna McKechnie and her extremely flexible back, is deceptive because it initially looks like 1960s flavored fluff. Especially Michael Bennett's work was, was uh, in this piece was uh, really breaking ground because he really started doing that seamless thing. The, you know, the musical interludes. But as it takes off and gets faster, the deep back bends and crisp head flips make it downright dangerous, especially at that relentless pace. There's no doubt that the moves put real physical strain on the dancers' bodies. In her memoir, McKechnie actually said that the routine was so rigorous that she felt like going, quote, directly into an oxygen tent afterward. That tells you everything you need to know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.